Good afternoon, it's Doug from Vermont Hoyas, and today we're going to talk about net pots and growing Hoyas and net pots and the advantages and disadvantages. Um, this was probably the best thing that I learned in 2017 as far as taking care of Hoyas. Um, I didn't come up with this idea myself, but it was a great grower in North Carolina who who shared his uh, secrets with net pots with me. Um, he said it was primarily so that you could take a look at the roots and see how healthy they were um, without having to remove the plant from the pot. But, um, and you can see here is an example of Hoya Mana Purensis, and you can see how healthy the, the roots are. But what I found is even more important than seeing how healthy the roots are and maybe the main advantage of growing in net pots is it can give you a clear indication of when your plant needs to be watered. We, we all know from growing Hoyas that the most difficult thing with them is to get the watering right. If they're over watered they will quickly rot. The roots will rot in your plant your plant is dead. And this is especially true in the early stages when you're just starting a plant and growing it. And I just want to give you an example. Here's a Hoya Anacoides um, seedling. And the top of this plant, if you were to stick your finger there, feels bone dry, thinking that you should saturate the plant with water. But by being able to be in a net pot, when you go down and you look at the base, it may not be clear here in the video, but the um, bottom of the pot is still quite wet. And you would never know that um, from just putting your finger in the top. And plus, it's hard to push your finger in a very coarse mix. But with a net pot, you can pull it out and you can see exactly what your water situation is like. So you don't make nearly as many watering mistakes. And I think that that is the main advantage of growing in net pots. Now, if there, was, if there had to be um, one disadvantage to growing in net pots, it's probably the fact that your roots will grow through the openings and they'll get all tangled up amongst each other and sometimes it's very difficult to remove the plant from the net pot without harming the roots and if you're afraid of that I find that the easiest thing to do is to plant the pot in without taking the plant out of the pot potting it right inside of another pot and I have a couple examples of this here is another uh, beautiful Hoya manipurensis. And you can see here that I have just taken the pot, the net pot, and put it right inside of another regular pot. So um, the roots will grow right through all those holes and it won't set the plant back by destroying a lot of the roots, trying to rip the plant out of it. And here's another example of a plant where there's actually a net pot within a net pot. Um, so it does work very nicely. You can see this plant is totally healthy with lots of new growth. Uh, let's see, what else did I want to say? Oh, one other um, thing that you need to know about uh, these net pots is you need to have them, just growing them in the net pot alone um, won't work because the plant will dry out too quickly. So they need to be inside of another pot as a liner. So that allows you to pull it out, examine to see if it needs water or not, put it back in the pot. And there's um, another, one more advantage to growing in a net pot. If you do make a watering mistake and the pot and the plant is saturated and you don't know what to do, you can take this out of the pot for a couple of days out of the liner and it will dry out much faster, giving you a chance to correct your watering mistake from oversaturating. Um, I find the hardest thing is to find the proper size liner, um, the pot to cover the net pot. Um, these aren't bad, but ideally you would have about an eighth of an inch all the way around the edge of the net pot. Uh, just so there's just a slight air space. You can see here that this is actually a little bit loose, but I can't find the proper size pot to go to cover this net pot. 
but um, since I've been growing this way, I think I've had a lot more success, especially in these young plants where they're so susceptible to root rot by overwatering. It has made a huge difference in my growing, and I'm hoping that by sharing this little trick, it can make a big difference in yours. So that's, um, that's a trick of the trade, and I thank you for taking your time and looking at net pots for growing Hoyas, and I'll be back really soon with hopefully some great more Hoyas to share.